On this episode of Hull of a Road Trip, we push further north to check out Nebraska and Wyoming. We drove north through Colorado, passing oil rigs and mesas, until finally we reached Nebraska. We weren't sure what to expect in Nebraska, but since we were in town, we figured we'd stop by. So we filled our water tank and headed north. As we came around a corner, we were pleasantly surprised by the change in scenery and wondered what other surprises Nebraska had in store. We parked for the night at the Harvest House of Papa Moon Winery and Cider House, and then walked in to try out their wares. In the dry landscape, it was an oasis of green grass, outdoor games, and comfy seating areas. It even had swings. Stormy, what are you doing? Stormy found a friend. We tried a couple flights of the best cider we've ever had. Hanging out, having a cider. Look beyond Jason. What do we have? Goats. We got a couple of goats. And screaming little girls having fun in a hammock. I'm a very confused puppy. <laughs> Water was not coming from this location a couple of seconds ago. They had a really cool cork board so everyone could show where their home state was. So we put our mark on Maine, then picked a few of our favorite ciders for the road. At dusk, a nearby pack of coyotes got our attention. Their haunting calls were quite appropriate as Halloween was approaching. And as abruptly as it started, they were done. We had a beautiful sunset as we got ready for the next day. So it's 38 degrees, and we are starting a hike on in Scotts Bluff National Monument. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about a three mile hike, and should be pretty interesting. A lot of rattlesnakes apparently, but it's 38 degrees, so I don't Hoping think we'll have to worry enough, about them. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah. We'll see. Although abundant in the warmer months, we didn't see a single one. Scott's Bluff towers 800 feet above the North Platte River and has served as a landmark for peoples from Native Americans to immigrants on the Oregon, California, and Mormon trails to modern travelers. The Saddle Rock foot tunnel I'm standing in is primarily made up of sand and siltstone. This was hand dug because the rock formations here are so fragile. We don't know what these specific formations are, but thought they looked pretty cool, kind of like ribs going through the sandstone. Behind Kelly in this picture is Saddle Rock. At the top of Scott's Bluff is a survey post that was placed in 1933, showing how much has eroded since then. Stormy got the best vantage point for taking in the sweeping vistas. Headed back down Scott's Bluff, but wanted to share this beautiful view. It's amazing up here. Absolutely amazing. A little bit bright. <laughs> Might have to edit that out. I don't think Stormy could figure out why we were doing switchbacks instead of just going across. A little perspective, that's where we came from. Hiked along that ridge line and then down. Pretty cool. After our hike, Kelly had here the latest sticker we'd earned. There it is, Nebraska. Left Kansas all alone in the middle. Leaving town, we passed the Western Sugar Cooperative's manufacturing facility. The huge mounds you see are mounds of sugar beets, which are used in making sugar to feed our nation's sweet tooth. Sugar beets actually contain more sucrose than even sugar cane. If you've ever wondered where that spoonful of sugar to help the medicine goes down came from, this might be it. On our trip westward, we stopped at Pine Bluffs Distilling, another harvest host. They had a great outdoor porch that Stormy could run around on. Their mixologist made us two delicious drinks. We left with a bottle of gin made from local greens. The next morning, we were back on the road, moving westward through Wyoming. Our next stop was Vitavu Recreation Area. We parked in one of the few spots big enough for our rig, this gave us great views of one of the formations often used by climbers. 
part of Medicine Bow Route National Forest, Peetaboo is an area of rocky outcrops between Laramie and Cheyenne, Wyoming. A little different hiking in Wyoming. A bunch of evergreens, boulders. The little chipmunks were everywhere, and this one was especially curious about Stormy getting danger close. It got pretty chilly and breezy at this 8200 foot elevation. And as the sun dipped lower, so did the temperature. But the local herd of mule deer didn't seem to mind. The next day we drove into Cheyenne so Kelly could replace the ID card confiscated in an earlier episode. After that we went downtown to stop at Blue Raven Brewery. Little neighborhood brewery. There's an old house that they converted to a brewery. Really cool little backyard area. We shared a flight to find our favorites, then warmed up with some puppy snuggles. Back at the campground, we decided to take in a late afternoon hike. We headed out on Turtle Rock Trail. Turtle Rock Loop is considered an easy three mile trail with only 318 feet of elevation gain. The trail meanders around the base of Turtle Rock, through the conifers, and into interesting rock formations. Here at Miyagi Do Karate, <laughs> Banzai! <laughs> Seal rock. Type it. Unfortunately, the sun started dipping low and temperatures cooling off, so we thought it best to turn back. We'd added over a mile on the trail by leaving from our campsite. We got back just before sunset and resolved to try again tomorrow. Second attempt at the Turtle Rock Trail. Going the other way this morning. Stormy, you hiking? Trail dog. Trail dog? Okay, trail dog. <laughs> this time we went clock rise around Turtle Rock onto Phallic Trail and then onto Valley Massive Trail. This allowed us to see the other side of the mountain and the rock formations we'd missed yesterday. up here were always howling. Time to turn around. More beauty. Stand a birch. We ended up doing four and a half miles before returning to our rolling home. For our last day in Wyoming, we headed down the other side of the mountain to Laramie. The back of several of the downtown buildings were covered in colorful murals. We went to Coal Creek Tap to try their brews, then to the Sugar Mouse Cupcake House. Kelly got some quilting supplies and I got a backpack, then it was back up the mountain. We yeah, have really good. peanut butter, coconut snowball, toffee caramel, and lemon raspberry. <laughs> Stormy says he's here for it. <laughs> mm, oh my lord. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm. Is that like peanut butter gooiness in the middle? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. With an overstuffed belly, we watched our final Wyoming sunset. Our final morning and the sticker went on and we hit the road headed back south down to Colorado. We'll see you there. <laughs>